I think Melissa brought copies of this sheet. Oh, good, she did. On one side, it's got the diet, and it tells you how you can eliminate the foods that are most apt to cause allergies, and also if you're a mushroomaholic, if you're, if you're a peaholic, whatever kind of oholic you are, if there's any foods you can't live without or you're a coffeeaholic, I can tell you if you have an allergy, it's your oholic foods that are causing it. Many times I tell people, write down your seven favorite foods and beverages. Write it down on a piece of paper, all right? If you have food allergies, you just wrote it down. Go off those substances one at a time or all at once, and within five to seven days, you should be not a little better, remarkably better. And then you add the food back on an empty stomach and expect to get very sick within an hour. And you can stop an allergic reaction due to a food if you take a half a teaspoon of baking soda and a glass of water. You want to dilute, dilute it uh, by at least a glass of water because it doesn't taste so good when it's concentrated. But that's probably one of the best tips I can give you because it's something that's, that most people, everybody has baking soda in their house. If you have a lot of uh, vague symptoms and you're afraid when you go out that you might have trouble, I would strongly suggest that you get in the habit of carrier, carrying baking soda with you all the time in your wallet in a little packet because it really helps. You know you have food allergies because you feel much better than you felt in ages. By the end of the second week, you know exactly which food causes your headache, which ones cause your belly ache, which ones cause your muscle aches. You have a lot, which cause your disposition to change. Most people, when they think of allergies, they think of asthma, hay fever, and itchy skin. Well, I can tell you I believed that way for a long, way, a long while until I, I got into this field. And then I found out not only can any area of your body be affected, but any area of your brain can be affected. So some people, instead of their lungs going into spasm, they get asthma. Their bladder goes into spasm, they wet the bed and wet their pants. Any muscle can, or their heart can go into spasm. The air purifier takes out dust, mold, chemicals, and pollen. Um, there's only one that, to my knowledge, it takes out the chemicals and takes out 3,000. It's called the uh, Austin Air Purifier. The, uh, diet we're going to give you today that takes out all the other things and all the advantages of the air purifier on one side and the diet is on the other side. If, uh, if there aren't enough details about the diet, you can get it in the diet. All of my books have the diet because if you said to me what's helped more people, the fastest, the easiest, and the best, unquestionably it's the diet. Thousands of mothers and parents saw me on Donahue or Larry King or one Oprah, one of the shows, and they tried the diet and I get these glowing letters that their whole lives were turned around in one week. Allergies, incidentally, always run in families. So if you have a very allergic uh, parents, I would expect the children to have allergies in infancy. It starts earlier the more allergic the family is, and usually it hits everybody in the family but the causes can be detected by putting in an air purifier. If that cleans it out, it's dust, mold, pollen, and chemicals. If it doesn't clean it out, it could be that your house is so moldy you have to move. If you find when you go away you feel fine and you're sick as soon as you get home within 24 hours, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that there's something in your house that's bothering you and pay attention, and sometimes I tell people you've already found the answer. If you're so sick when you go to all these places that you can't function, and you go here and you feel magnificent, hey, I, sh I shouldn't have to be the one to tell you that maybe you ought to live there. If you haven't got your health, you haven't got anything. I don't care how much money you've got, everything else, uh, how beautiful your wife is or how handsome your husband is, none of that counts for anything. If you don't feel bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, every single day and enjoy life. People that have read this book, which is my best seller, Is This Your Child? Incidentally, it's in every library. Uh, tell me that they read it and they cry. And why do they cry? Because I described their children. The children all act very similarly. Many tend to become hyperactive, belligerent, hit, bite, 
uh, break the mirrors and the furniture, but others become very wimpy and they crawl out of the furniture in a dark closet and they, they crouch in a fetal position and they don't want to be touched. And these, of course, these two extremes cause major problems in schools. But if you find, for example, on certain days your child is acting fine, it's just an adorable creation, you couldn't love him anymore, it would be impossible. And then all of a sudden he is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, you couldn't stand him, you'd like to put him through the wall. This is characteristic of children who have allergies. It's also characteristic of parents who have allergies. It leads to all kinds of divorces because you don't understand why your honey is lovable and cuddly one day and the next day you go to touch her and she pulls away and screams at you. It, there are many, many ramifications in our lives because of allergies. Uh, if you want to raise a family and you have allergies, I suggest that you get this book because it's the only book I know that talks about uh, uh, the fetus while it's developing. The average newborn baby is now has uh, 278 toxic chemicals in their blood at the time of birth. What does that mean? It means they were marinated for nine months in a uterus that was full of toxic fluids. And those toxic fluids damage the immune system, so they have more infections than normal. It damages the, uh, and allergies I might add, it damages the endocrine system, so they tend to be more feminized, because most of the chemicals in the air, the food, and the water are what's called xenobiotics, and they tend to feminize the male and the female. So men now, when you look at them in the beach, they've got boobs that are as big as young girls. And it's funny in a way, but it really isn't funny, and impotence is way, way up in not only the older men, but the younger men. So I told you how to get rid of the, how to, how to figure out if you have a food allergy and what to do about it. Told you uh, about dust mold and pollen, how you can figure it out and what you can do about it. We've got tapes here that, that show examples of children and adults reacting to dust mold, pollen, foods, and chemicals. You don't have a lot of money, go to my website. There's about 40 small DVDs that you can look at. I'd like you to tell me, uh, Melissa, five minutes before the end because I want to show them how to diagnose and treat an allergy in one minute. Okay, not scientific, but in my experience it helps and I'd like you to try it to see if it helps with you.